so you, but still you have to, you have to know that we really want you to reveal yourself. You've been hidden long enough. And the fact that you're here and that you're the, you're the oneness behind and beneath and above all, the oneness, you're, you're the oneness within which all takes place, within which all existence exists. We need, to ne- we need to connect with that. We need to, to know that. I call it the lattice work of, of existence. That if you just look at the lattice, that's what you see. Tables, chairs, bodies, physical objects. But if you look closely, you can see through and you can see that there's an energy system behind the physical world that we know. That's actually the source for the physical world that we know. And it's time for us to start seeing through the holes. So the Shem Hashem, the name of God that appears at the end of every one of these stanzas, it actually has a different nikud, a different vowing, which I won't go into now, but it's very special to to meditate on. The vowels, the Hebrew vowels, are really dots and dashes. And dashes are male and dots are female. And so there's a, a very simple, simple, beautiful way to understand that the actual... The niku, the vowels that bring alive, they bring alive the letters. You can't say the letters without some kind of a, e, e, o, u. That's it. That's what makes the sounds come alive. So that the spirit level that's enlivening the body of the letters, the ruach, that enlivens the, the body of the letters. So... Here also there's a kavanah, there's an intention when we say Hashem's name, is that it's written one way, we mentioned it last night, and it's said another way. And speech is connected to, literally in our phys- physiognomy, in our face, our, our mouth is here, and our brains are up here. And so thought is higher than speech. Speech is only wow. a condensation nice. of what we can think. And so what we're allowed to say of God's name is only that He's the Lord, He's the Master, He's the Director and the Producer of this play. But He's not limited by that. He's was, was, is, and will be. He is transcendent above all that we can know. But we can work backwards. And we can know that by virtue of the fact that, he, that the, the Infinite One hides His infiniteness and manifests as the director of the finite world, the director of the scenes, we can make the jump up to know that which is above the rational mind, that which is above the story of creation. So, the Shem Yud Kei as we said last night, you can see that the name Alab Dalet Nun Yud would be like down here, horizontal, and the Yud Kei would be for vertical. One of my favorite props <clears throat> is exactly that. That when we say this name, it's like this. That this name is at the bottom here, that's what we say, but the ladder leads all the way up far beyond. <coughs> so really, if a person would want to, you could meditate on this name and go very high up. You can connect. And I only use vertical high, the word high. It's not the only way to think about it. It's just easier. There are other ways to think about it in terms of going in, whatever the case may be. But it's an inner level and it transcends anything we can say. But then what we want to do is to bring the higher level down into creative speech. We become creators with our speech. Because abracadabra, as you know, means I will create according to what I speak. So we become co-creators with Hashem. We use the power of speech to create goodness, to bring powerful energy in from the higher levels. Um, and one more thing is that sometimes in, in terms of prayer, and this is, a, this is the archetypal case, this is the paradigmatic case, is we don't say what we see. We only say what we say, but we think what we see. See, when you see you give up, you don't say it. You're not allowed to say it. One of the reasons being is that it's holier, it's more sacred. It's so sacred that we won't, we don't want to profane it. We don't want to make it available in human speech, which would almost make us 
too familiar with it. We keep it behind wraps. We keep it in the sacredness of non-speech. We don't cheapen it. This is the simple explanation of why we would like do this. Because otherwise, like, what are we doing? We see one thing and say another. It's not normal. Anyway, the, the combination of the two names together is a gematria. Of Yud Kivavke is 26, and Alab Dalit Nun Yud is 65. So if you're quick with your numbers, you can do 65 and 26 is 91. And you should know that when you say this name, the Aleph Dalit Nun 